Hello, tis I, Mog Anarchy, and today I'm going to be taking a look at The Grocery Game, a free-to-play app available to download from the Google Play Store. The Grocery Game is based on the series of blind bag collectible figurines from Moose Toys, The Grocery Gang. If you're unfamiliar, they're little rubbery toys of everyday grocery store items, but massively past their sell-by date. They're often covered in mould, slime, maggots and flies, and are proven popular with thousands of kids and toy collectors alike, myself included. The grocery game is ideal for fans of the figurines, particularly children with a gross sense of humour. The game itself is actually several mini-games based in a hub world known as the Yucky Mart, a convenience, or some might say an inconvenience store, where the grocery gang live. The main groceries who host the various mini-games are Putrid Pizza, Sticky Soda, Dodgy Donut, Rotten Egg and Shockley. As you earn high scores in the mini-games, you will earn coins, which you can trade in for mystery milk crates, each either containing a virtual grocery gang figurine or more coins. Your virtual collection can be viewed in the form of 3D postcards and can be dragged and dropped to create dioramas. You can also place them in the real world and add them to photos taken with your smartphone's camera. There's also a game called Cruddy Crunch, which is essentially an augmented reality minigame, which involves either pointing your phone's camera at packaging from grocery gang figures or printing out a target. So let's take an in-depth look at each minigame. Firstly, we have the Mucky Maze. This clever little game employs the use of your smartphone's GPS sensor to detect movement. The object of the game is to roll rotten egg around on a greasy baking tray while collecting coins and avoiding obstacles. To control him, you simply tilt your device from side to side to roll him in the desired direction. It works remarkably well and is pretty addictive for such a simple concept. Next is Maggot Mash. You are faced with a mucky microwave, covered with congealed nacho cheese and absolutely crawling with maggots and flies. You're on a time limit to see how many slimy maggots you can splat and squish with your finger. Once you've squished about 50 or so, you can turn on the microwave and zap the on-screen critters to quickly clear the screen. Next we have Goo Shoot. This is my favourite of the minigames and in my opinion the easiest one you can quickly earn the coins on. You use a catapult assisted by lame licorice to fire blobs of goo at the green, black and yellow soap bubbles that are rising from a scummy mop bucket below. Hitting combos increases your scar multiplier and if you aim carefully you can quickly earn a lot of points. And finally is Sludgy Slurp. In this minigame, you control three groceries who are standing underneath the mushy slushy machine in hopes of grabbing a drink. Drops of slushy will drip from the machine and it's up to you to tap each grocery to make them jump up with their mouths open. And if you time it incorrectly, they'll end up with a bunch of goo dropped on their head. As I previously mentioned, the grocery game is free to play, but like many free to play games, there is the option to spend real world currency to purchase milk crates to quickly fill up your collection, but it isn't necessary to fully enjoy the game. There's also the option to watch adverts, usually for other apps, to double the coins that you've won in each minigame. However, as it is a children's game, the app will prompt the player to ask a grown up before an advertisement will be played. The app is also incredibly easy to understand for children, as instead of long-winded instructions, each minigame is explained simply with a set of easy to understand diagrams. As a fan of the Grocery Gang myself, I can wholeheartedly recommend the Grocery Game to other fans, and particularly recommend it to those who may not be able to find the figurines as easily for sale in their country, or may not be able to afford to buy them on a regular basis as the game does a reasonable job of replicating the excitement of opening the mystery mill crates and filling up your collection.